Hey everyone, welcome to week two. This week we're gonna make vlogs. We're actually gonna make two short vlogs. The first one is a hi, it's me vlog. So this is essentially, you know, that sort of beginning of class. Let's go around the room and have everybody introduce themselves. But since we don't have a classroom, since we have a virtual classroom, we'll do virtual introductions, we'll use vlogs, which I think will be really nice um, to find out where people are, whether they're in Long Beach or across the globe and uh, just a little bit about who we are. So when we're talking on Slack, it's not just a text on a screen, but you know a little bit about the person. There's nothing you have to share, no requirements, just you know, talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. Your major, your time in school, your travels, your career interests, music, whatever, whatever you wanna talk about. So number one, short vlog, introduce yourself to your classmates. The second one is a welcome to my website vlog. So um, we're not actually gonna make websites for about six weeks, so it's a little bit out of phase, but since we're vlogging this week, we just go ahead and make these two and be done with that. Um, so what's your website gonna be? Well, for 90% of you, it should be your major. It's your major, your career, what you're thinking about, at least for the time being. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Your website can be about anything that's useful for you. So whatever you wanna present to the world, you can make a website on that. But again, for, for the majority of you, that'll probably be your major. Um, so when you make this, again, it can be pretty short, it can be 30 seconds, longer if you want, it could be even shorter, but try to say something substantive. Try to really connect to this audience you, you might have out there. So a couple of tips. Number one, don't say, you know, hi, I'm a student, I take classes. That's true, obviously, but, you know, nobody's going to hire you, whether it's an HR director hiring you to become staff or, you know, somebody that you'd like to be one of your clients hiring you to do a project. You know, people, we're not gonna hire you because hi, I'm a student, I take classes. So try to think of yourself as a young professional, you know, emerging in the field of your choice. So, you know, don't say hi, I'm a student, say, you know, I do A and B and C. Second tip is, it's not a bad idea to list A and B and C, but don't focus on those. So my message is not, hi, I do task A, I also do task B, and I also do task C. My message should be that my ABC enables my clients to make more money, have more free time, live a better life. That's where the impact is. Um, before the iPod came out, there were actually lots of MP3 players. Uh, the iPod was not an early arrival, but every MP3 player before the iPod talked about gigabytes. Oh, this one has 512 megabytes. This one has four gigabytes. It's all about space, space, space. And when the iPod came out, you know, Steve Jobs famously, instead of talking about gigabytes, he said, a thousand songs in your pocket. So if you're a computer engineer, you really care about gigabytes. Most people are not computer engineers. We don't care that much about gigabytes. Or I mean, at this point in the game, everybody knows what a gigabyte is, but it, it's, it's not really what matters to people. But a thousand songs in your pocket, that really matters. I was talking to my cousin the other day, he's a real estate developer. He builds affordable housing, which has a specific definition, but it's for people who earn less than the median income in a particular area. So without affordable housing, it might be really hard to have a place. Um, so they've built about 5,000 units around LA County. And he was telling me that he used to say, we've built 5,000 units of affordable housing. So just like computer engineers care about gigabytes, real estate developers care about units. But the rest of us, what does that really mean? So he told me that the average occupancy in each of these units was about two people. So that instead of saying, we've built 5,000 units, he now likes to say, we've helped improve 10,000 people's lives. So instead of gigabytes and units of housing, talk about songs in your pocket, changing the lives of 10,000 people who now can afford a place to live. So if you can get all the way from, hi, I'm a student, I take classes, over to, you know, my ABC empowers my clients to dot, 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 live a better life, that's really powerful. That's something you can really connect to people. Might be challenging, but think about it. Shout on Slack, talk in one of the channels, or IM me personally if you prefer. Um, but see if you can come up with a way to position how you and your career help people, empower the people that choose to work with you. Uh, there's full details on the activity brief on the website, so check that out. Have fun. Try not to stress. I know vlogging can be kind of intimidating for people. Uh, definitely not here to stress anybody out. Just have fun. Give it a shot and see if you can you know, communicate something about the field that you've chosen. Have a great week.